uh, good afternoon our dear students Today we are going to do a worksheet on English uh, grammar, which is usually asked in the competitive exams. So we will do that, dear students, so that we improve our performance in any kind of Comparative exams, as you know, nowadays competitive exams uh, have become very much uh, like English paper is a very, uh, you can say, compulsory component of this. So, please let me know. I, if in case it is a repeat exercise, please let me know. I don't think it's a repeat, but in case you have done it before, please text me quickly so that I can change it, right? So, dear students, uh, let's begin our uh, uh, study today. So, this is something what we will do today. Try to recollect if it is a repeated, uh, repeat exercise. If it is a repeat exercise, I will change it immediately. Otherwise, I will continue with this uh, exercise today. Okay, so good afternoon, Tandi. Okay, so what is the antonym of liberty? Liberty, as you know, is all about freedom, it's all about having to do what you want. So we have to find out the opposite word of liberty. Is it independence? Deliverance, one be convenience or dependence. Uh, which one do you think is the correct answer? Oh, okay, Tanvi, it's repeated now. Okay, uh, not an issue. I'll change it now immediately. I I'll change it. Uh, okay, if that is a repeat, uh, in that. I'll go with this. Now you please confirm me once. Uh, Tanvi, uh, now you please uh, confirm me once whether we have done this as well or not. Uh, please uh, confirm me quickly so that I can start. Like you can see here, the appropriate antonym of the word obsolete. So, antonym of the word obsolete. And the next one is correctly spelled word. So, which one? Do you think it's okay? Like we haven't done it? Okay, 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 Tanvi. Thank you for your confirmation. So let's do it. Uh, do it now. Okay. So, what is the antonym of the given word obsolete? So, have you heard the word obsolete? Obsolete means something what is old, what is archaic, right? So, it, is it recent, remote, outdated or rigid? Is it recent, remote, outdated or rigid? So, which one do you think is the antonym of the word obsolete? Uh, what is your concept? Tanvi, Prakhar, uh, they say it's 
नंबर वन ओके तनबी एंड प्रखर से इस नंबर वन रिसेंट यस यू आर करेक्ट तनबी एंड प्रखर बिकॉज़ रिमोट आउटडेटेड रिजिड दे आर ऑल सिनोनिम्स फॉर दे आर ऑल सिनोनिमस वर्ड्स मींस दे ऑल आर हैविंग सेम सिमिलर मीनिंग they all are having similar meaning remote outdated rigid right they all are having synonymous meaning right so therefore uh, recent will be the correct answer uh, recent means something latest right uh, so it is the antonym next select the correctly spelled word which one do you think is the correctly spelled word is it embarrassment encouragement conscientious and commotion uh which one do you think is a correctly spelled word correctly spelled word okay uh you do one thing dear students you write question number and option number okay suppose we are uh, now dealing with question number 2 so you can write question number 2 2 something like that you can write 2 2 okay question number 2 2 something like that you can write okay so when you give the answer make sure that you write the question number also because what happens some of them might be answering uh, for the previous question so in that is uh, it is not clear for me so it's better you write question number as well as the option number okay now dear students now let us know uh for example right you are correct encouragement is the uh, correctly spelled word but what is the meaning of commotion what is the meaning of conscientious because the purpose of doing such activity is to enhance your vocabulary as well as knowledge of grammar so that if you happen to take any competitive exams in future uh you get familiar you remain familiar with the pattern right so like some of you might be writing for the uh, bank exam or uh, staff selection commission exam uh, after class 12 some of them so for them it will be very uh, easy because they will you know, by the time they will be knowing what the stuff comes you know what kind of pattern is there in the exam and for others it can be an exercise in boosting your vocabulary as well as boosting your knowledge of the grammar because these things are very common okay so dear students uh, what is the meaning of conscientious so let's see it here the spelling is wrong of course but google is there conscientious means uh careful to do something correctly and well it is called conscientious right see the spelling e n is given okay e n conscientious means it means somebody who is very careful to do something correctly he, he is called conscientious right uh so that is conscientious right or done with great care and attention so a person who does something carefully is conscientious or about actions it is uh, done with great care and attention okay suppose you have done something very with great care and attention then i can say tanvi has done or prakar has done or somebody else has done the work uh, conscientiously okay so this is the meaning of conscience now the meaning of commotion what is the meaning of commotion the meaning of commotion is great noise or excitement that is what is uh, commotion all about uh, commotion means great noise or excitement uh, okay that is for commotion so uh, hopefully you have mm, uh, understood the meaning uh, commotion uh, meaning great noise and conscientious means when it comes to explaining about the people it is careful and their work it means uh, it is done with a uh, lot of care and attention okay so conscientious 
so hopefully you shall remember you can make a small diary also because every saturday we shall go ahead with all these extra stuff okay so that is why it's better you make a diary and you can uh, note these words on a diary okay that that will be better uh, okay so conscientious we got commotion also we got something new commotion means a um, great noise okay or excitement it is for commotion okay now let's move on to the next one Okay, Prakar says question number three is four. Uh, let me see whether he is right or he is wrong. The bees knees. Okay, so Prakar says is problematic, right? Prakar says is problematic. Okay, uh, the bees knees. Prakar must have seen it somewhere. Okay, let us all see together, Prakar. Okay, all see it together. The bees knees. Okay. Here we can write a highly admired bees knees means a highly admired person or theme. Right. Be the bees knees. Definition of bees needs by Merriam-Webster dictionary is there. So it is bees needs means a highly admired person is called bees needs. So dear students, highly admired person is called bees needs, right? So. Okay, so you see a highly admired person, so extraordinary. Okay, you can say it's extraordinary. So select the most appropriate meaning of the given idiom. It can be extraordinary. Next, select the most appropriate word to fill the blanks. Like a reward is a dash which motivates a person to achieve excellence in his field. So a reward is a dash which motivates a person to achieve excellence in his field. Okay. So, what do you think can be the thing? A reward is a, uh, a recognition which motivates a person or monument or collection or memorial. So, what do you think can be the answer? Uh, do you have any idea, dear students? Uh, question number four. Uh, let me see. Question number four, you write. Prakhar or Tanvi or anybody, what is your answer? Okay. Mayur says three, whereas Prakhar says question number four, it's four. So let's see. Uh, okay. So question number four is three. Three is the correct answer recognition a reward is a recognition which motivates a person to achieve excellence in his field next uh, select the word which means the same as the given group of words a sudden rush of a large number of frightened people or animals what is this called is it scapegoat lunacy stampede or recluse which one do you think will be the correct answer is it uh, scapegoat lunacy Stampede or recluse, a sudden rush of a large number of frightened people or animals. Sudden rush of a large number of frightened people or animals. Mm. Have you heard about these words, a goat? Have you heard about lunacy, stampede, recluse? I think you haven't heard about any of these words, right? Like Tanvi says, 5 3. Ria says 4 3, okay, 5 3, Prakar. So the all are saying 5 3. 
Uh, but when you say 5-3, my question is, um, how do you know it's 5-3? Uh, how, do you, how do you know it's 5-3? Okay, so you are correct, of course, stampede is the answer, but uh, you have to see here what is the meaning of scapegoat first, okay? See the meaning of scapegoat. What is the meaning of scapegoat? See, scapegoat, one that bears the blame for others, okay? If someone hasn't done anything wrong, but still he is given blame for a particular work, then he is made the scapegoat. So that is the meaning of scapegoat, okay? One that bears the blame for others is called a scapegoat. What is the meaning of lunacy? Lunacy means what? Do you know the meaning of lunacy? You learn all these words, okay, because these are important words. Okay, so lunacy means here, um, you can say a foolish act, you can say insanity means craziness, okay, uh, craziness, you can say a foolish act, okay. Next you see stampede, so now you see the meaning of stampede. So, stampede, you see a mass movement of people at a common impulse, okay? At a common impulse, that is called stampede, right? So, this is what is called stampede. So, next, let's see. Select the word, okay, okay next, recluse. What is the meaning of recluse? Let's see. The meaning of Recluse is uh, withdraw, withdrawal from society. There are so many people who do not mix up with others. They remain isolated either at home or in the society. So they are called a recluse. A person who leads a secluded or solitary, lonely life, they, he or she is called a recluse. Now select the word which means the same as the given group of words. One who loads and unloads ships, spinster, rustic, uh, stepdoor, or captain. One who loads and unloads ships. Question number six. One who loads and unloads ship. Question number six. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Very good, very good. So, Prakar Stampede, uh, yes, yes. A stampede takes place normally, uh, yes, it, it can take place in railway station, it can take place in a religious place where there is a lot of gathering, where people have gathered for, uh, you know, offering, uh, you know, puja or offering prayers to god or goddesses, and there's a huge uh, queue. So, in such places, uh, stampede can happen. Okay. So, Suhani says, steep doors. Okay. So, these are difficult words. These are some of the difficult words. So, let's begin with spinster. So, do you know the meaning of spinster? You can take a note of all this. Okay. Later on, you can consult dictionary. Okay. You can write down in your, on your notebook. Spinster. A spinster means a woman whose occupation is to spin, number one. Number two, a woman who seems unlikely to marry. A bachelor woman is called a spin spinster. Okay. Or an unmarried woman and especially one past the common age for marrying can also be called a spinster. Okay. So, this is what is the meaning of spinster. You understood, I suppose. Next is rustic. Rustic means what? So, you can write down the meanings, uh, word at least. Uh, and later on, you can consult dictionary. You can write down 
on a diary you can make a diary or you can also make a notepad for all this so rustic means uh, which is relating to uh, a country actually okay relating to a country is called rustic relating to a country is called rustic remember okay okay now uh stiff dough what is the meaning of sti stiff dough let's see the meaning of stiff dough is one who works at or is responsible for loading and unloading ships in port yes so that is what is a uh, stiff dough all about one who works at or is responsible for loading and unloading ships in port is called uh, stiff dough right so you've got a new word today uh, so many words you've got of course captain do you know uh, the uh, captain one who directs the ship okay he is the captain so we have learned so many words today like scapegoat we have learned recluse we have learned lunacy we have learned spinster we have learned stiff door right and many more we are going to learn right so next you see here uh, there is a passage where a lot of blanks have been left out and the alternative to these alternative words are given the appropriate words you have to select from the alternatives given here right so it is dash misunderstood as a restriction to freedom it is uh, happily slowly proudly usually so what do you think should be the appropriate word for this blank number one it is dash misunderstood as a restriction to freedom it is dash misunderstood as a restriction to freedom but it makes our life organized what is this this is discipline discipline is doing any work with rules and regulations so each here refers to discipline discipline is usually misunderstood as a restriction to freedom but it makes our life organized discipline is a dash for students so discipline is a virtue disadvantage curse dream so which one do you think discipline is a dash for students blank number 2 481 uh 7481 virtue very good okay next you tell me next is number 3 a disciplined person always a disciplined person always uh dash in each and every field of life successful succeeds succeeds or success which one do you think is the correct option here uh, a disciplined person always dash in each and every field of life number nine now number nine Number nine, three, like Tanvi, Prakar, Bhagyasri, Mayur. Okay, number nine is three, succeeds, very good. Okay, next, disciplined people dash a disciplined society. So, disciplined people dash a disciplined society. So, uh, disciplined people, is it made, make, had made or makes? Made, make had made or makes so disciplined people you can write make right disciplined people make a disciplined society 
Okay, last one. Discipline should not be dashed upon the people. Discipline should not be dashed upon the people. So, uh, discipline should not be, number five you see, should not be adorned, imposed, reposed, curved. Adorned, imposed, reposed, curved. Which one? Question number 11 you tell me. Which one do you think? Eleven two. Tanvi says eleven two. So imposed. Very good. Correct, Tanvi. Discipline should not be imposed upon the people. Rather, it should come from within. Very nice. Okay. Now, tell me. Select the antonym of the given word derogatory. What is the meaning of derogatory? I give you some hint out of which you work on the answer. So, derogatory means uh, expressive of low opinion, derogatory remark, okay, like for example, derogatory means here, uh, degrading, sorry, uh, degrading, it can be disdainful, it can be scornful, okay, derogatory is a negative word actually. Okay, uh, which can be contemptuous also, uh, belittling, uh, belittling also. So, derogatory is something of like, for example, uh, I show you here the easy one, the easy meaning. Let me show you uh, expressing a lack of respect or a low opinion of something, expressing a lack of respect that is derogatory. Okay. The something that you have said or something that you have done which is uh, not showing proper respect to a person or which is showing low opinion about a person of something that is called derogatory, right? So derogatory comments can be derogatory remark, right? So anyway, um, tell me now what is the antonym of the word derogatory then? Is it complimentary, insulting? depreciating or intricate question number 12 uh, yes question number 12 Sraddha, Sejal, Prakar, Vaidyasri all are saying 12 1 yes it's correct complimentary is the correct answer okay so now let's move on to the next one select the most appropriate synonym of the given word acknowledgement acknowledgement means suppose you have somebody has given you something or somebody has done for something so you acknowledge him recognize him okay uh, so that is called acknowledgement like we give acknowledgement uh, uh, at the end of a book you might might have seen like if a writer author has taken help from different sources uh, different books while writing his book so he will write acknowledgement towards the end okay uh, that is also called bibliography. So that is what is acknowledgement all about. So is it elimination, compensation, confusion or confirmation? Select the most appropriate synonym. Elimination, uh, compensation, confusion, confirmation. Question number 13. Confirmation, very good. Okay, next you see, this type is very important, you tell me. Select the most appropriate option to substitute the underlined segment in the given sentence. Like, no effort has been made by the Indian cricket team to cash off on its vibrant image in the World Cup. No effort has been made by the Indian cricket team to cash off on its vibrant image in the World Cup. So, what do you think should be the uh, answer of this? Number 
नंबर फोर्टीन नंबर फोर्टीन टू ओके लेट मी सी लेट मी जस्ट सी हियर फोर्टीन टू कैश इन ऑन ओके कैश ऑफ इज रॉन्ग कैश इन ऑन होगा ओके नो एफर्ट एस बीन मेड बाई द इंडियन क्रिकेट टीम टू कैश इन ऑन ओके कैश इन ऑन इज ए फ्रेज एक्चुअली so cashing on its vibrant image cash on means to take make uh, advantage okay cashing on okay so dear students last task of the day given below are four jumbled sentences out of the given one you tell me which will come first uh, see whether c will come first or d will come first tell me quickly very quickly uh, within 20 seconds you tell me the answer number 15 so cdab should be correct answer children as well as teenagers then it has no uh, or negligible nutritional value then you can say a this is because and then thus it leads to okay so thank you dear students uh, for your active participation in this uh, activity so uh, every saturday we shall do something or the other uh, based on communication skill or based on comparative exams right so thank you so much uh, let's wind up now today and uh, some of you of course are coming from monday so uh, let's see um, i'll let you know on monday what i'm going to teach you so in the meantime please keep updating your notebook all right uh, uh, your syllabus has been reduced so there's not much of worry but be regular at least Uh, twice in a week you study english uh, english subject at least twice you have to study right uh, okay thank you bye bye take care and have a